Yeah. Yeah. I should have changed the locks. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Yep. Pardon my disappointment. I was hoping you were on a permanent vacation. Do you have any idea what I've just been through, Johnny? Nope. Don't care. Thank you for asking. I was kidnapped. I was tied up in that disgusting warehouse. That smell. I don't think I'll ever be able to drink a cup of coffee again. Oh, the horror. I wasn't here for Thanksgiving. You even wonder where I was? Huh. I gave thanks you weren't here. What the hell is your problem? <laughs> is, that, is that a real question? We had a moment, or whatever you call it. I made you a sandwich. You're right. So I'm stuck in a loveless marriage with a woman I can't stand, while the woman I love can't stand me. But hey, I got tomatoes and peanut butter. Look, I'm just saying you might want to dial down the hostility a notch. Connie, I can't stand you. If you were to up and disappear, it would be the best day of my life. Check it out. I think you understand what happened to me, Johnny. I was tied up, I was gagged, interrogated. Sonny brutalized me. You don't look any worse for wear. Emotional scars. What, meanwhile, you're just what, going about your business? Yeah, pretty much. No concern. Nothing. I was concerned. I was concerned that you would come back. Oh, by the way, while you were gone, nobody called for you. Nobody came around looking for you. Nobody cares about you, Connie. You're some husband. Hoping his wife ends up in a ditch somewhere. Yeah, ditch, harbor, Pine Barrens. As long as I could find my way back to Carly. You kidnapped Oh, did I hurt your feelings? Why are you being so hateful? I thought we came to some kind of truce. Truce? I, I don't want a truce. Okay, I want out. I want out of this life, out of this marriage. And for one blissful second, I thought for sure that you were gone. I thought that I had gotten my wish. Why couldn't you just stay gone? You keep talking, Johnny boy. I'll do some talking on my own. Oh, here come the threats. No, no threats. Just the facts. I did not kill Star Manning's family. You did. So you better lay off of me, or I'm going to tell everybody the truth. So come on, Johnny. Hmm? You going to show me some respect? Or are you going to finally let me blab about the baby that you killed and let Star spit in your face? Star already hates me. No use keeping that secret anyway. All right, come on then, Johnny. Huh? Put your money where your mouth is. Let's do this. Come on! I'm sure someone, Star, would love to hear what you have to say. Connie? Are you in there? It's Star Manning. Open up. Oh. Speak of the devil. Oh, wait. That would be you. Sukasa. I certainly hope not. Ooh. All right, well, uh, I'm gonna get out of your hair so you and Johnny can have a chat. I didn't come here to chat. With you or with Johnny. Well, then what do you want, Star? The manuscript you stole from my father. Are you accusing me of something? Yes, stealing a manuscript. A what? A book. Lots of pages with words on them. Oh, yeah, I don't know anything about that. Sorry, I can't help you, kid. Don't call her kid. Don't defend me, Johnny. Well, looks like you two have some issues. We have oh, nothing yes. to talk about. Oh, oh, maybe you do. I think Johnny does. So you're going to want to stick around there, kid. You're not going to want to miss this one. You have 30 seconds. Honey's blackmailing me. It's me. Listen, I just I just want to talk to you about what happened with Connie. Can you call me back? Thanks. <gasps> Stay away from me, or I'm calling the cops. Relax, Connie. What, are you waiting for me here? Uh, I've got security all over this joint. No, I, I was actually here for something else. I I'm glad that don't you... come near me. I'm not gonna hurt you. Okay. Exact opposite. Shouldn't you be doing damage control with Michael? 
I just wanted to hear how it went with Johnny. Did he miss you? Was he happy to see you? Yeah, he was fine. I had to fight him off to get to the office. Yeah? Yeah. Well, work is more important than having a reunion with your husband. None of your business. Well, I just want to make it my business because of what happened, you know, in, in the warehouse. Yeah, when you hogtied me to the chair. I'm sorry about what Joe did to you. I, I'm sorry that I couldn't stop it. And I want to make it up to you. You... You want to make it up to me? What? What? What is this? You know, just want to have a conversation. You and me. You want to hear about my work? Yeah, if you want to tell me. All right. I'm writing a novel. A romantic one. Oh, no, really? Yeah, really. You know what I think about that? You, you would need to write a romantic novel if you were being romanced the right way. Johnny's not doing it for you, is he? I'm... Do you miss it? Huh? Come on, tell me. Do you miss being with a man instead of a, a boy? Because I can help you out. Now, but if you change your mind, give me a call. Cause my number's right here. See, just in case you forgot. Bye, Connie. Con uh, Mr. Manny. <clears throat> yeah. What? Who are you? Uh, I'm, no, I'm I don't Molly. Know who, you are. who are you? Uh, I I'm Molly's boyfriend. We need her manuscript back. No, I can't do that. Why not? Because it's gone. What do you mean it's gone? I mean, it's not here. That's what I mean. Where is it? I don't know. Ask... Ask her. <laughs> 